Hi Virgo, I hope you're all doing well. We're gonna get into your general reading. I'm gonna pull out two cards from this Oracle deck to see what energies are supporting you at this time as well as what energies are challenging you and then we'll get into your general reading with the tarot. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Andy, this is 13 Moon Tarot. If you're returning, which I think most of you are, then welcome back and thank you for all of your support. I hope that you have a wonderful holiday season. We're getting close to Christmas if you celebrate Christmas. Uh, and if you don't celebrate Christmas, then at least there's a day off. <laughs> there's a holiday in most places. You could celebrate that. Whatever it is that you do, I'm wishing you all the best. And maybe I'll be back for before New Year for a collective reading. So I'll wait to wish you Happy New Year. <laughs> all right, Virgo. You feeling good? You feeling inviting? Maybe some of you are hosting something or you're taking a break from hosting and that's a relief. Let's see <laughs> what's going on here for Virgo. These are general messages, so take the parts that resonate with you and then just delete the rest, throw it away, say, nope, not my story, but I like that part, I'll take that. <laughs> Go ahead and do that. Uh, if it's not your reading, that's okay too. If you do resonate with this reading, then you can find a link in the description box below to an extended. Okay, let's see. Spirit, thank you for allowing me to get all that out. <laughs> now we would like some cards. What energies are supporting Virgo at this time? What energies, thank you. Flow. Beautiful. In the flow state. So the flow state is when, you know, time kind of disappears on you and you're really feeling like you're doing something productive or you're feeling like you're doing something that's really getting your brain going and all else kind of just fades away, fades into the background. You're really in, a pre in the present moment. So maybe this is writing or reading or creating art or dancing or singing or doing something creative that you love to do, even just thinking. <laughs> I'm seeing someone thinking by a tree here. Even just thinking, being out in nature, this is a beautiful moment that is highly spiritual, the flow state. Okay, so that's an energy supporting you. Let's see what your challenge is, Virgo. Sadness? No, come on, really? <laughs> Sadness and flow the blue here okay so this could be somebody else's sadness that's challenging you or it could be your own strength at the bottom it's interesting how I open this reading talking about the holidays because the holidays can be a very difficult time for some not everybody has great memories of this time or a co I'm hearing cooperative family members it can be difficult But this flow state is something that will help you transmute any sadness that you hold within. For some of you, this is definitely someone else who's sad and their energy is affecting you. Maybe you can feel their energy. Spirit is really encouraging this idea of, of getting into a zone where all other energies fade away. It's like a protective mechanism. And it's interesting because I ran out of my usual candles that I use and all I had left were these black candles, which I never really put out here. Uh, but I did because I didn't have any more, but you're the first sign I've ever done that for. And black candles can be a symbol of protection. They can absorb negative energy. But I feel like there's a protective space that spirit, like a yeah like a creative bubble spirit wants you to be in so that you can find some peace of mind yeah i feel like it's split for whoever i'm talking to like half of you are dealing with someone else who's sad and spirit wants you to protect protect yourself a bit from taking on that energy most likely you're an empath if you're here watching tarot so likely you take on other people's energies and emotions really easily and that can affect you quite a bit 
So to maybe you need a little bit of a bubble around you. Others of you, this is your own sadness here that you need to work through in a creative means by yourself, I'm getting. Okay, let's, interesting energy here. Let's see, Virgo. These readings are timeless, so whenever you come across it, it could be for you. The energy may resonate over time. We may be picking up on past energies as well. Let's see. Two more. I think surrounding yourself with color might be useful. going on here this looks beautiful hmm perhaps some of you are dealing with a health issue or somebody close to you is having a health issue let's see the outside energy what about Virgo and sadness Tell me uh, about how this sad energy relates to Virgo. We have Ace of Swords, King of Wands in reverse. So, okay, some of you have seen something clearly now, and it's a little disappointing. Okay, for, I'm hearing for some of you, it could feel soul crushing. Your soul is not crushed, but it could feel that way. There's a, but it, for most of you, there's a disappointment in somebody's inability to act or to act very carelessly in a situation. Not take something into their own hands. I'm hearing big baby. <laughs> okay, maybe act like a big baby here. You've definitely seen something clearly and it's like, well, that's that see that for what the, for what it is and that could be creating some sadness for others of you or maybe this is also happening there's somebody outside yourself here seven of cups king of cups in reverse and the eight of pentacles uh who is really working through some depression potentially or i feel like it's depression confusion about what's next what do I want to do next in my life? What am I working on? Am I successful? Where am I going? It's kind of a spiral here for this person. So a lot of you are dealing with the energy of somebody else who is sad. For you, Virgo, it looks quite beautiful. But I am concerned here. <laughs> and I guess so, so is spirit because... The card that we're en ending on, which is the position of what you're going to manifest in the next three months, is the Four of Swords in reverse, which is a real need for rest, relaxation, getting in the flow state, being able to heal yourself. Yeah, and it, it's in reverse, so this is telling me there's something blocking your ability to be at peace and heal yourself from something, emotionally, physically. And I think believe it's this outside energy okay let's go through the cards and see what comes up so your overall energy right now is the eight of cups you're leaving something behind but what's going to surprise you is the chariot <laughs> you're going way faster than you thought it's like once you made that decision maybe you've already made it maybe you're making it in the process once you've made that decision to turn your back on something to say enough's enough I see things how they are, and I'm not giving my energy to this anymore. It's bullshit I'm hearing. You're off. And maybe you've been waffling or wavering for some time on whether to actually close this door. Or how you can close this door, but you figured it out now. And now you're like, gone. It's a, it's a moment, Virgo. It's a moment. <laughs> 
of big clarity and a re- I'm hearing a return of your energy. You were giving your energy to something. Something was siphoning, I'm hearing, siphoning, sucking your energy and yes, and you're getting it back. I'm feeling guided to pull some charms here. So let's see what comes up for Virgo. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> Two, the letter, the number two, please here. Yeah, see, it's like somebody was asking for your energy. Please, Virgo, please. Some of you are dancers, okay? Because dance is on the other side, but maybe it's two people that were demanding of your energy here. You were trying to help somebody heal something, I feel, in some way. We have the letter D and I and S. I'm seeing that as dis, and I'm hearing dissatisfaction here. Yeah. We have Aquarius, the letter P, a sad face, a lighthouse, love me, and a rose. You're really not going to be able to see all this, but I feel like showing you these cards anyways. One day, I'll figure out how to set up things so you can see both me and the cards. This room is tiny, though. Like, I can't have it that way. <laughs> I'll figure it out one day. Okay. Hmm, there's something about being able to... You've seen something, okay? You can't unsee what you've seen. Like, you get it now. Okay? Somebody else's sadness. Yeah. I'm hearing canceled. It's like someone canceled themselves, I feel. Oh, don't fall, don't fall. One second, Virgo. The energy just shifted really interestingly. Can you tell? It's like a little bit all over the place now. Yeah, there's somebody that you're dealing with here that is a little out of sorts. I don't know where that thing went. I think we're good. It doesn't drop on the floor. Oh, <laughs> one second, Virgo. I can't have the cats eat that, so I gotta go find it. What was it? The letter D. So maybe that's very significant for someone, but I'm also seeing with the two, it could be something about 2D. There's something 2D here about the situation. So that can mean there's some information here that you need to pay attention to, some 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 piece of writing I'm getting okay or maybe you're writing something let's refocus this is a very scattered energy that we're tapping into here but you're gone you're going tell me what else is going to surprise Virgo here the star <laughs> and as soon as you go here on your chariot which is super blinged out. <laughs> Who says that anymore? <laughs> Me, I guess. Super blinged out here, you know? Like you've decorated yourself energetically. You've, the energy has come back to you and now you're wearing it so well, your own energy. It just looks good on you. I don't know what that means, but people can see you in your full power. And if you're not here yet, this is available to you. It's coming your way. You're giving back to yourself here. You're healing something. You've definitely seen the bigger picture of a situation. Yeah. You've left somebody or maybe even a group of people to deal with something on their own. You're no longer going to be Mr. or Mrs. Fix-It in this situation. And by pulling back your energy, it's not even pulling back your energy. It's just like you pivoted. You turned, you said nope, and you started going in a different direction. And the moment you did that, you gave that energy back to those people or that person, that the sad energy, you gave it back to them, you stopped holding on to it, and your positive energy was returned to you. Because you made a big shift here. Even if it's something small you've just done recently. 
like not reply to someone's email who's been bothering you or by telling someone you're quitting the job when you haven't done it quite yet. Whatever little shift you've made here, you've made some small action towards gaining your freedom in a situation, deleting someone's number, whatever it is, it has changed the energy significantly. And now this person is faced with their own energy before it's like they were holding on to your energy and it kept them going. But now that that's no longer available to them, they have to face their own sadness, their own energy. Wow. Okay, so what's ending? Three of Wands. Let's see, what were you looking out at? What were you waiting for here? What was going on? What is this for Virgo? Magic. This is an extra card in the deck. You were kind of, I'm hearing, hoping and wishing. Isn't that some kind of oldie song? Hoping and praying and wishing. I can't remember how it goes, but it sounds like an oldies kind of tune. I don't even know what the rest of it is, but yeah, it's like you were... Trying to pull a rabbit out of your hat here in a situation. Created change here in a situation. Let me get one of these cards. Tell me more about this for Virgo. What's this about? Ideation. Yeah, it's like you were trying to change someone's mind about something or a group of people. Something. You were trying to create a cosmic I'm hearing shift a shift in the energy but oh so cute sweetness with love Virgo I love you you were yeah you were happiness it's like you were trying to to help someone here okay bringing your sweet <laughs> kind loving energy into a situation Maybe you were trying to model to somebody the energy that you feel they could have stepped into. But this, the energy, yeah. But it's not meant, hold on one second, let me make sure I articulate this properly. This outside energy that you were dealing with has to figure it out for themselves. You can't be a part of it anymore because it's dragging you down. It's not helpful for you. For some, I'm hearing dangerous. For some of you, it might have felt energetically, emotionally, financially, whatever, dangerous here to stay in this situation. So what's beginning is the Three of Cups. That's a celebration with friends or maybe family or it could be, well, let me see. For some of you, only some of you, you have friends that are your chosen family. Okay, and that that's something that's going to get stronger and stronger. Those of you who have difficult family ties and relationships, karmic family ties and relationships, what's beginning is you're going to find your soul tribe, a support system here of chosen family. If that doesn't resonate for you, then there's something here about feeling like a connection or a friendship or a work situation was going nowhere. It was just stuck in the mud. It's shifting. It's changing. It's like everybody has their energy back. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. What else here? Some of you are 
definitely breaking a shadow contract with someone, a soul contract with someone. You're saying no more. I don't want to be in this. It's not serving me. I want to move towards my own happiness and I'm not going to wait any longer. Lovers in reverse, nine of cups and the knight of pentacles in reverse. I'm not waiting here for things to resolve themselves. Everything's upside down and I don't live in upside down land. <laughs> right, Virgo. So there's good times coming up for you. Celebration with other people. Soul connection with other people. I'm hearing my lonely nights are over. <laughs> if you feel like you've been lonely, I, I, I'm seeing that's going to end. Now, your advice here is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. There's some kind of opportunity that's going to be offered to you that Spirit's saying, turn that shit down. <laughs> What's this opportunity? What is this offer here? The Empress... Oh, to step back in your mother role, not gender specific, and continue giving to someone or a situation. Perhaps this person over here, the King of Cups in reverse, will ask you to help them again, to give to them. Queen of Pentacles, to turn yourself upside down for their benefit. And Spirit's saying, don't do that. Now, if it's not this person asking for this, then there's some other situation here. where people or a person wants your energy, your expertise, your abundance, your willing to care, your willingness to care and nurture others, they want some of that. But there's nothing in it for you. Okay? So this could be a job offer. It could be a return of somebody, a favor somebody asks you for. But the way it comes out as the way it's presented to you is as if it is something beneficial for you, but it's not. Page of Cups. Yeah, it's like the Page of Cups making an offer to the Empress. This is mother and child right here. There's a mother and child dynamic here that I feel you stepped out of. Okay? And now there's maybe a little bit of a test or somebody's wanting your energy back and Spirit's saying, no, no, no. Been there and done that. We're not doing that. We're in the flow state now. Okay, four of swords in reverse for what's going to manifest in the next three months. Knight of swords. You might have to get a little bit assertive with somebody here in your life. Something might need to be said in a very clear-cut manner. Something you've been thinking about saying. You might surprise yourself in the way that you address this situation here. I'm also seeing that whatever's been unstable or unwilling, or there's been an unwillingness to resolve something in a situation, could be a work situation or, or family, or even a relationship, the tower in reverse and the ten of pentacles in reverse, whatever was not working out here, unstable, it's like you're getting the hell out of Dodge. <laughs> you're saying, I'm not going down with the ship here. Even if that means I have to be momentarily uncomfortable or maybe this is stressful for me, I'm still going to go ahead and do that. I'm still going to get in the chariot and go. There's a lot of drive here from you, Virgo, Page of Swords, to act on your fresh perspective that you've had on a situation, Queen of Cups, and put yourself and your heart first. This is quite empowered. <laughs> I hope this reading helped you. I'm going to go into the extended and we're going to go a layer deeper. We'll get more into it. What exactly is being offered here? I want to go further into that. Where are you going on your chariot? And is there anything else we need to know about this outside energy for you? But if this is where you go, I love you so much. I'll see you next time.